Lakini kwanza kufuatia kukamilika kwa kesi iliyohusisha maafisa wawili wa polisi na wanaodaiwa kumua msichana wa miaka 14 katika kaunti ya Kwale, maswali yameanza kuulizwa kuhusu ni wakati gani ambapo polisi wanapaswa kufiatua risasi. Francis Mtalake anafungua kurunzi ya Jumatano kwa makala yafuatayo ya elewa sheria. Katiba iliyopitishwa Agosti mwaka 2010 ndio ina nakili kinaganaga kwa hakuna aliye na uhuru wa kumtoa mwenzio uhai ipo basi mshukiwa anaposemekana kutenda kitendo hicho hukumu yake huwa inaangaziwa sana katika mambo mawili muhimu moja ni wapo alikusudia au la you as the person who committed the offense what were you thinking had you preplanned it did you think of the consequences yeah so that when you are now doing the action those two have to be together There's the action part and there's the mental part. Mfano mzuri ni kwa kwa mwandaza msichana aliyeuawa mwaka 2014 na katika hukumu yake jaji Martin Muya aliyehukumu maafisa wawili wa polisi kwa kosa la kuua bila kukusudia ipo basi akatoa hukumu ya miaka saba gerezani tofauti na hukumu ya mauaji ya kukusudia ambapo hapa ni kifungo cha maisha gerezani. Had you like predisposed what would be the consequences of my actions? Am I using too much force? or what uh, is it going to cause grievous bodily harm on this person you understand what would be the effect if i hit the person if i shoot the person and actually now you're shooting the person on the forehead yeah and this is a 14 year old what did they have that made you be at danger yourself for you to to go with an extra force of using a firearm and put them at the forehead lakini kwa polisi anafaa kutumia bunduki kivipi kwa mshukiwa akiwa amejihamia saa kifaa ambacho ni chini ya bunduki na je ikiwa silaha alionaye mshukiwa ni yenye ustadi kushinda yake polisi kisheria anapaswa kufanya nini whatever force they want to use depends on what you also having you cannot be standing or you let's say fighting with your arms and the police comes with a gun and shoots you you understand It has to be a weapon of a higher power than all the police having. Ikiwa hivi sheria ndio inapaswa kuangaziwa lakini mara nyingi imesemekana kuwa sheria hii ipo na changamoto hivyo basi kesi inapofika mahakamani inapoanza kusikiza hujipata kufifia au hata hukumu inayotolewa hailingani na matarajio ya wengi. The challenges which we see mostly and in most of the criminal cases is evidence produced. Because when you come to a criminal matter the 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 power or the bar we use is beyond reasonable doubt that this guy or this person did this we cannot be moved any other way he must have done that he must have shot this person he must have had this intention yeah so all those two have to be beyond reasonable doubt and so that comes not with the word of mouth but with the evidence Francis Mtalaki KT News Makala yele wa sheria.